A bridge repair project southwest of Omaha is causing concerns for drivers and emergency responders. And it's down to one lane and up to 7,500 vehicles actually have to take turns passing through each and every day. I'm told that's going to go on for two more months. We have a map to show you this site. It's on the northern edge of Louisville. That's where crews are repairing two bridges. Mike McKnight is asking why the work doesn't speed up. The plat flows faster than traffic on this bridge over the river, so drivers need to be careful. We were in my dad's SUV and he said, hold on, we're getting hit. And sure enough, there wasn't anywhere to go. Rear-ended in a three-car accident. She just did not get stopped in time. Erin Murdoch says nobody got hurt. Still, she says there's a risk of more crashes because of temporary stoplights on Highway 50 during bridge repair. Yeah, if they can put more hours in, that would be great. I mean, I know that they've got rain delays, but anytime you can get things done quicker. And the contract doesn't require work on nights or weekends, which would have added to the $8 million cost to taxpayers. It's overtime, it's split shifting of the, of the, of the uh, contractor and supplier and industry's workforce. The state has added more warning signs and stoplight times are monitored to help with traffic flow. But Louisville's fire chief worries about emergency vehicles getting through. No one can get out of your way. So if you try and cut through, we're probably going to cause an accident. So, yeah, it's, it's a mess. And it's not just rescue squads. Here's another concern of the Louisville chief with that construction narrowing down the road. Would this big fire engine fit if they had to get across the bridge? The 10-foot width on one bridge, enough for semis. But the chief wonders why the state didn't provide him with plans to plan ahead. I would like to have at least seen what they were going to do or hear what they were going to do on paper and maybe we could have at least tried to work some suggestions out to them. The state briefed some local officials before the project, but not the fire chief. We'll meet with them to, to listen to their concerns and also to uh, determine if there's a better way to do what we're doing right now. A plan to widen 50 to 4 lanes got stopped when federal funds dried up seven years ago, so the state can't wait any longer to fix bad bridges. Drivers can only hope delays are closer to ending than they appear. On Highway 15 or Louisville, Mike McKnight, WWT6 News. The district engineer warns us that the drive will not be getting better any soon. After current repairs are done in July, we're told work will start on the Platte River Bridge, followed by an overlay to Springfield. The entire project scheduled for about seven months, but our Mike McKnight has been told it is running ahead of schedule.